So just another quick video about Retro GTA 2024 and a new feature that was added to the latest release, which is built 8336 at the time of this recording. Uh, well, kind of, because I just saw there was a fix for this for some bugs in the latest early access release, which is 8346. So you may want to wait uh, using this for gigs until the public release has passed 8346 to get the fixes. Just a fair warning. So what is this thing? Well, it's called Automix Tempo Mode. So that's the new feature. And that's basically all about when you're in Automix, how Automix handles the BPM when doing the automatic mixing, right? So let's look at it. So it's a setting. So it's inside uh, the options here and we go into Automix and it's the bottom one here. And you can say Automix Tempo Mode and it has normal tempo, key pitch and key BPM. And key pitch is the default. So let's look at that one first. So let's see what it does. So I, I load a track and I start Automix. And I just jump in the track so we can do the Automix. And as you can see, it did the Automix from the 98 to the 0 0.1 to the 100.00, uh, just gradually like you would expect. So uh, why is this a... Uh, a setting that's named keep pitch. Does that make sense? It didn't do anything new. It just did whatever it always done. Well, actually, uh, it doesn't just do nothing. It actually looks at this thing. So if we do it again, and I change the pitch like this to plus 10% before I actually do the auto mixing, then, then see what happens. So it's of course fast enough because it's plus 10%, so it's 107 instead of 98. And when I do the automix, even though the next track is only 100, it goes to 110. And why does it do that? Well, that's because the pitch is manually set to plus 10%, so it adds those 10% uh, to the next track also. So that's what the key pitch is about. It's not about uh, keeping whatever pitch you add and uh, in terms of how fast the music is, it's about keeping this thing's pitch, right? So that's the first option, and that's the default. So uh, what if you just want to keep the tracks at their original picks, uh, pitches, even though you changed this thing? Well, let's have, have a look at that. So just disable that, and then go into the options, and switch it to normal tempo. So now, if I do the uh, the same mix again, but I do the uh, the manual change, so now I'm at 10.7%, and I start the, the auto mix. Sorry, we just have to load the old track again. Change that. Plus 10%, so now it's 107. And uh, do the auto mix. Now it actually brings the pitch down to zero. So it changes the manual change that I did. So this goes back to its original BPM. So what's, that's what the normal tempo does. This one keeps whatever change you made to the manually to the pitch. This goes back to normal tempo. And then maybe for the more interesting one. So if I load that first track again, like I forgot before. Oh, sorry. I have to disable Automix first. Like that. So we load the, uh, load the first track, and then I go in here, and then I pick Keep BPM, third option, and I do the exact same thing again. I start Automix, and I jump to where the Automix happens. You can see that it actually now stays on the 98 BPM and it changes the slider. So it does the minor two to bring the 98 back to uh, uh, the 100 back to the 98 for the next track. And again, if I jump again to bring in the 110 BPM track. See, 
actually it breaks that all the way down to minus 10% so we can keep the 98 BPM even when the track is at 110. And that actually works all the way up, so we could do it again. It brings the 116 one down to 98 before starting it like that. So it does a, uh, does a, a BPM mix in, in fact, so uh, it stays in tempo and it just does the uh, the BPM sync before it does the mixing. So that was the third option. And then maybe what you actually what uh, you're, what you are, have been missing that maybe what you're excited about about this new auto mix tempo mode to be able to do a mix in the same BPM. So if you set a BPM and run this mode, it'll keep the BPM. Then there's something else. If you look at the bottom, it says when possible within a pitch of ten uh, of plus minus ten percent. That's not uh, totally true because, as you can see here, it's now set it to a minus fifteen percent. And that also happens if I let's just start over. So if I uh, uh, load the slowest track, and then I put this up here. So it goes straight to the 116 BPM track in this mode. So the keep BPM mode. Auto mix. Do the auto mix. It changes it to minus 15 in one sweep go. So it can do way more crazy thing than that, than that. So the minus plus minus 10% limit is when it has to do uh, the gradual changing to not make that crazy. So it's not uh, to set the next track to the same BPM, it's basically to gradually go to a new BPM where it has the 10% as a limit. So this can go really crazy. And uh, if uh, it's really crazy, it can actually uh, uh, double or half the BPM uh, uh, to make uh, the, the smooth transitions. So it doesn't always set it to the same BPM. It can also be the double or the half to make this uh, beat mix, if you will, happen. So that's a little bit about the new Automix tempo mode in the latest version of Virtual DJ. So I think a lot of people have been asking about the, the, the last option where you just keep the BPM throughout the mix, the, throughout the Automix. So I think that's a pretty cool new feature that some people has definitely been asking for and a lot of people will probably enjoy.